Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is find number and it is a medium level problem. So this particular problem says that we have been given an integer n and we have to find the nth smallest number which only contains odd digits. Right. So basically they have given us a kind of a series like which only contains odd digits and we have to find the nth integer in this particular series. Right. So like all these types of questions have a very uh, standard uh, way of solving it. They are almost very similar and even I like uh, encountered this particular problem uh, a few rounds before in code forces. So it was a this three round and it also had a similar problem. So in this particular case we have like all the odd digits and we will discuss how we will solve this particular problem. So I believe like there is not much explanation in the sample test cases because for like for example if n is equal to 3 you have to tell what is the third third number in this particular series. The third number is 5. Similarly for n is equal to 13 the 13th number in this particular series would be 35. Right. So let us discuss how we can solve this uh, problem. Now uh, we have been given an integer n and we have to find the nth number in this particular series. Right. So you will find one very interesting thing about this series and that is there are only uh, 5 unique digits that are being used in this particular series. Right. And those digits would be 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. Right. These are the only digits that are being used in this particular series. So instead of representing it in a 10 base system, we can also represent it in a 5 base system. So we will try to convert our original number into a 5 base system. And we will try to use only these values, right? If you convert anything into a five based number system, the values will be of the format 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? For example, in a two base system, in a binary numbers, the values are of the form 0 and 1, right? In a 10 base system, the values are of the form 0, 1, 2 and so on up to 9. So when we convert our current number into a five base system, the values will be of the form 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4, right? Out of which we don't need 0, we don't need 2, we don't need 4. So we will need some way of mapping these values into some other alternative values. right? So this is usually the most uh, tricky part because this is what you have to think in that particular question and this varies from question to question. right? So like one easy way of uh, finding what values should you map, should you map these particular values to can be you can start forming the answer for the first few values. So you know for n is equal to 1, the answer is 1. For n is equal to 2, the answer is 3. For n is equal to uh, 3, the answer is 5. For n is equal to 4, the answer is 7. Right. So you know that you need to map 1 to 1, 2 to 3, 3 to 5 and 4 to 7. Right. And obviously there is one value remaining that is 9. So it will definitely come at this particular position. Once you have mapped these values, you can check for the answers for some starting values. So uh, like for the first four values, the answer is already checked. Now for the last remaining value, we see that uh, we have n is equal to 5 right so for n is equal to 5 whenever we uh, like uh, if you remember how we convert a normal number into a binary number system what you do is uh, you take a normal number let's say 60 you divide it by 2 write the uh, you divide it by 2 you write the remaining number here and write the remainder here right and again we divide it by 2 we write the remaining number here and write the rem remainder here we divide it by 2 write the remaining number here and the remainder here Right. So this is how it goes on. Let me just complete this quickly. So it, it will be uh, 3 and it will be 1. This will be 1 and this will be 1. Right. So I believe that this should be the correct representation of 60 in binary form. Right. So this is how you convert a normal in number into a binary number. Similarly, if you want to convert any number 60 in base 5 form, so what we'll do is we'll write the remainder here and in this case it will be 20. Uh, the, the remaining value here and the remaining here. So 12 into 5 is 16 and 0 is the remainder. Again, we will write the remainder here and the quotient here. Right. Again, uh, so like this number is already smaller than 5. So if you convert 60 into by base 5 form, it will be 220. Right. 220. So similarly, we will try to convert every number into base 5. So you see, whenever we try to convert this particular number into base 5, you will see that the last number that we have to add is this particular value which is the remainder part so if we divide like divide it into by 5 the remainder will be 0 right so uh, the remainder will be 0 so we will be mapping this particular value at its position so the last value will be 9 right since uh, as i have already discussed that we cannot directly assign this particular value to the answer we have to map certain values to this 
right so in case of 0 we are we are mapping in case of 0 remainder we are mapping the value 9 now we will be remaining if we divide 5 by 5 the question will be 1 right so you see the answer for 5 is 9 but we are still remaining with 1 it means whenever a number is divisible by 5 we have to subtract 1 from it so in this case the remaining l will be 0 this will if you observe this pattern like uh, if you write more numbers you will observe this pattern more so for example if you try to find a 10th number if you try to write uh, 10 in base 5 form you will see that uh, the remainder will be 2 the remainder will be 0 so we have to map this particular value to 9 right so 9 will be written like this now we have a remaining value 2 right the question is 2 but since it is a uh, like uh, says 10 is exactly divisible by 5 we have to subtract 1 from 2 and we will be remaining with 1 so we will have 1 here now if we try to map 1 the value we, that we have is 1 right so you will see we will always get 1 9 at the 10th number and even if you see this particular case you will see 1 9 here the 13th number was 35 so this is the 13th number this is the 12th number 11th number and this is the 10th number so the 10th number is 19 right so let me just quickly summarize what what i just said so what do we see that uh, we have we have, we want to convert the number into base 5 form and once we have converted it we will map some the values into some other value we have found what values we need to map to but we observed whenever a number is uh, is a divisible is divisible by 5 we need to like uh, subtract one from the remaining value so this is exactly what i have done in the code let me just show you the code now so i have created a vector b of size 5 right this these are the values that are being mapped to so 0 is mapped to 9 1 is mapped to 1 2 is mapped to 3 four, 3 is mapped to 5 and 4 is mapped to 7 right now i have, I have created a recursive function which will convert my number into base 5 and also uh, like uh, find my answer accordingly so what i have essentially done is i just pass the initial number into it if the number is 0 i just return an empty string uh, otherwise so this function is actually going to return a string i'll have to convert it into long long later on right so uh, what i do is the last character would be obviously equals to x mod 5 so the last this is the last character that that is the remainder x mod 5 and since i want to map this particular remainder into some value so i'll use my mapping function that is v so v has the all the map values stored right so this is how i convert the last character into its corresponding one now i find the base 5 value of the remaining value so it is x by 5 right so since i was dividing the number by 5 each time so this is x by 5 and i'm subtracting some value from it so this value should be if the current value x is divisible by 5 5 then i need to subtract 1 as i've already dis discussed in the case of 5 and in the case of 10 so i need to subtract 1 from it otherwise i can like keep the number as it is so this is what i have to do and uh, like this is just a ternary function so what it will do is if the number is divisible by 5 it will return 1 otherwise it will return 0 right so in, in one case i'll be subtracting 1 from x by 5 otherwise i'll be subtracting 0 from x by 5 right and the, in this particular the value that it is returned by base 5 will be added in front of my this particular value so this is how we can solve this particular question and at the end this value when the base 5 function returns some value i can convert it into long long by using the inbuilt stl function stol right so this will be the uh, solution for today's problem of the day find number i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel it's always free of course and you can always subscribe later if you don't find the videos interesting so i see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet so uh, if you are one of them consider subscribing to this particular channel until the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye